Well, I see that the audience score for the Book of Boba Fett has dropped quite a bit. That's probably because all day yesterday, the show was trending on Twitter with people making fun of it. Why were they making fun of it? Because the show's terrible. I talked about the show a couple of times. Uh, Right when it first came out, I made fun of the first episode. Everybody told me that it was crazy and I needed to watch it. So I watched the first episode. I thought it was terrible. It's not a good show. I'm sorry. I don't like it. I think it's, it's terrible writing. There's just a lot of stupid stuff that happens in it. And it looks like my decision to stop watching it was quite valid. Audience score over on Rotten Tomatoes is dropping. Critics are going to, of course, love it because Kathleen Kennedy, Lucasfilm, very, very progressive company, and they want their free tote bags. But the audience score, that's the true authentic thing to look at, and that seems to be consistently dropping. We'll return to that in a second. But for the most part, uh, people seem to agree that Chapter 3 of the Book of Boba Fett is shit. And I don't think the show is going to get any better. It's just got a lot of really dumb stuff in it. The biggest thing that happened yesterday, all day, by the way, all day, Power Rangers was trending. Okay? The reason it was trending is because for some reason, Robert Rodriguez decided to come uh, give Boba Fett a scooter gang with Power Rangers looking scooters. It looks like a Power Rangers picture. People were memeing the hell out of it. Like, Alpha, Rita's escaped. Recruit a team of teenagers with attitude. Got that. And then there's people just ripping on it. People were posting pictures of the Power Rangers, all kinds of stuff, all day. And the reason they were doing that is because they were making fun of the book of Boba Fett. Because the show seems to be just a gigantic meme more than it is a Star Wars show. I don't know how you could mess this up. And I asked this on Twitter yesterday when it, when I saw him with the Rancor. Like, look at this. I had to ask if this was real because it looks horrible. <laughs> Danny Trejo, like, looking on in approval. This awful picture of Boba Fett, like, petting a Rancor. And Disney defenders were running in on this big time talking about a book with the trainer that like helped the one that Luke killed in Return of the Jedi. Oh, I'm sorry I didn't read all of these stupid-ass books. You're clearly more of a Star Wars fan. So much, in fact, that you're willing to accept dog shit as a show and defend it as it's some kind of special golden turd. The show is bad. It's, it's crazy to me how many people are running in to defend this. You just, you know, you've got to accept it. Star Wars is dead. There's nothing about this show, at least in what I watched, I, that was good. It was a mess. Didn't make any sense. And it looks like this keeps going. So Data Racer had a good little breakdown. The book of Boba Fett complete, is completely stupid, and the show is an embarrassment. And shares this picture. This was the big meme picture. During the cringe chase scene, hipster scooter guy crashes through a painting of Jabba the Hutt before they all crash into a fruit stand. Boba Fett learns. His new Rancor monster is is depressed and spends a few minutes smiling and mewing while he pets it like a puppy. Danny Trejo approves. Atreo approves. Diversity gang, we don't have any money. There are no jobs in Mos Vespa and water is overpriced. But we have brand new rainbow hover scooters. Boba Fett, I'll give you a job. Then the Black Wookiee sneaks in to assassinate old Boba Fett. Crushes his bones loudly and drops his limp, lifeless body to the floor. Diverse scooter gang comes in to save the day. Boba Fett pops right up, puts a bathrobe on, and has a fat meal. Guess he heals like Wolverine. Dumb. The really dumb part of Book of Boba Fett has been the dozen humans carrying the two crappy CGI huts everywhere. Their knees not always buckle while on screen. Hut weighs 1.5 tons each in the lore, making this dumb. Disney Star Wars is dumb. And yeah, that CGI does look better. Uh, They should be practical. They look better practical. Practical effects, I'm saying. That's what I I mean there. And uh, Book of Boba Fett doesn't want to do that. 
can only imagine that George Lucas is going to watch this episode and think, yeah, that's the good stuff. Uh, these are the Disney fans. And they ran in. They're, they're going to run in on this video. Tell me I'm crazy. But I watched the first episode. I thought it was shit. And now everything that I see coming from the show uh, continues to reinforce that to me. The show is shit. Disney Star Wars, I just think, is beyond saving. And the the true test is going to be that Kenobi show. If that Kenobi show is bad and people don't show up for that show for each episode, like I don't know where this franchise is going to go because you have a big player there. It's Obi-Wan Kenobi. It doesn't get any, I mean, it could get bigger than that if it was a show about Luke, but I mean, he's arguably a huge character in, this, in, the, in, in the franchise. So, you know, we'll see, but man, this isn't, this isn't good. Your, your big Star Wars show that you need to set, like, ha, like have Disney Plus stand up and be profitable is getting memed all day because of bad decisions. And this is what happens when the head of your corporation, Kathleen Kennedy, is a complete moron. And I hear, I hear all these things. Oh, Kathleen Kennedy has no power. Kathleen Kennedy, you know, these are things are being done despite her. And no, I see this show and I, I can clearly tell that Kathleen Kennedy is quite in charge because all of these decisions behind this show and everything else are dumb and dumb and dumb and dumb. Oh, Han Solo, Han Solo's coming back. So she's clearly not in power. No, she probably called him and convinced him to come back. Because all this one propping up the sequel trilogy anyway, which isn't going anywhere, by the way. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out. Also, make sure to follow me over on Twitch. I do watch parties, play video games over there. They're always fun. Follow me over there and come hang out. Also, make sure you subscribe to Yellow Flash, my other channel. There's a link to that in the description as well. I do a lot of live streams over there that I don't do on this channel usually smaller and a little bit more personal. So make sure you follow me over there and sign up.